Okay, flat coil. Okay, so uh, so this figure shows a flat coil. Yeah? Okay, so you see this wire. Okay, then uh, uh, this wire go up and go down uh, to make a coil. So this is the patterns. Uh? This is the patterns of the magnetic fields of a flat coil. Now from here, yeah, you can see that uh, between these two wire, the field is uh, strong and it's uniform. Uh? Okay. It's a strong and uniform. You see the distance between the lines are the same. Eh? And then at the side, uh, the field will become weaker and weaker. Okay, the field will become weaker and weaker. Uh, also this one, okay. Now this one you can see there's a dot and cross, right? So dot shows that the current come out from this point and cross shows that the currents move inside this point. So this dot and cross, it shows the directions of the current. Eh? Okay, uh, so this is the patterns. Uh, this is the patterns. Now, uh, in the exam, not only you need to know the patterns, you also need to know the directions. Uh, the directions. Uh, this one already showed you the, the directions, uh, but how to determine the directions? To determine the directions, we use the same methods. We use a right hand grid rule. So, for example, this one. Now, the currents, uh, this is a coil, okay? The currents going up, right? At this point, yeah? the currents going up. So then you use right hand grid rule. This is your right hand. Imagine that you grip these wires, the directions of the field. Okay, the other finger shows the directions of the field. Uh, it's this way, right? Here is uh, counterclockwise. Eh? Okay, and this one, the currents go down. Okay, so this is your right hand. So the currents go down. If the currents go down, then this one shows this, the, this finger shows the directions of the currents. Eh? Okay, so the directions of the currents move uh, clockwise. Eh? So you can see that. Uh, so it's right, the directions of the field. Eh? So directions of the field clockwise. Here, directions of the field, counterclockwise. So if you are asked to draw, okay, so first draw the center here. Uh, the field is uniform field, okay? And here is weaker. Yeah, here is weaker. And uh, then so you must know the directions. And uh, this is the plan view, okay, I'll show you. So if it's a plan view, dot means that the current come out, uh, okay? Current come out, so this finger shows the directions of the field. So it's counterclockwise. Uh. Here, it shows the currents go inside. So then so this shows the directions of the currents, uh, which is clockwise. Uh. Okay, the directions of the current is clockwise. So it's uh, counterclockwise, clockwise here. Uh, sometimes uh, in the exam, they may ask you to draw. So uh, let me show you uh, how to draw. Okay, how to draw this uh, few patterns of a flat coil. Uh, let's say they give you something like this. So they give you the cross here, okay, and then they give you the dot here. So they ask you to draw the field patterns of a uh, coil. A coil, you, you always uh, you have uh, one, the currents move out from one place and move in from another place, eh? okay? You draw a dot and a cross, okay? And then after that, you draw the patterns. Now the patterns look something like this. Eh? You don't need to draw so many lines, eh? okay? Just draw a few lines is enough already. Uh, sorry, the first one, it can be a circle, okay? The first one, it can be a circle. Then you draw the second one. The second one, make sure that the distance of the field here is the same. Okay, this one, the distance here is the same. But then at the side, try to draw the lines further from each other. Here, uh, the distance is the same. Okay, here the line is further from each other. Okay, and then for another one, the first one you can draw the circle, just a circle. Okay, uh, then the second one you draw the eclipse. If you can try to draw these two symmetry, but uh, like if it's not really symmetry, also it's okay. Eh? Okay, but then it's still uh, we still have a uh, space here. So uh, let's say we draw two more. Okay, two more fill. Eh? Okay, this one is really big already, so you don't you, you don't need to complete the circle. So uh, this is a few patterns. Eh? This is a few patterns. Okay. Now after drawing the few patterns, then you use right hand grip rules. Right hand grip rules uh, to determine the directions. For this one, uh, is uh, clockwise or anti clockwise? This one. This is anti clockwise. This is clockwise. So use right hand grip rule. So your thumb pointing out, right? Okay, this is your thumb. Uh. So your other fingers, okay, your other fingers is uh, counter clockwise. Eh? Okay, so it's anti clockwise. So if it's anti clockwise, so let's draw, okay, anti clockwise. Anti-clockwise, okay. Uh, maybe you can show it here also. Okay, this one. For another one, uh, then it's uh, clockwise. Uh, it's a clockwise. Uh, that is how we draw the field patterns. Uh. 
how we draw the field patterns because in exam sometimes uh, especially in structure questions they may ask you to draw the field patterns uh. okay so first draw a circle okay and then seconds uh, make sure that here the field is a uniform field eh? but here it must be further okay because the field become weaker here uh, here a uniform field the line is the same okay but here it can become further and further okay and for this line you actually don't need to complete the circle okay yeah, just leave it like this open open line like this uh, then this will do but uh, just in case uh, after you have draw okay after you have draw and then uh, there are still some uh, space something like this okay? you get something like this okay uh, if this is the case uh, okay then in, uh, at the center you can draw a line okay uh, the, not not moving to the left or right okay just draw a line a straight line okay and this shows the directions of the field okay uh, this is also acceptable so that is how to draw the field patterns for a flat coil uh, factors affecting the strength okay there are three ways to increase the strength uh, first increase the current i think this one should be no problems right okay the stronger the currents the stronger the field okay uh, second is to increase the number of turns of the coil okay uh, you can have one turn, okay, as what I show you just now, okay, you have one turn, okay. Uh, you can also have many turns uh, for the coil, okay, it can be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay. Uh, okay, so you see, you can have uh, uh, many turns. Uh, the more the number of turns, the stronger the field produced. And the last one is use uh, coils with a smaller radius. Eh? Okay, so uh, for example, so you have one like this one, uh, another one, uh, sorry, okay, another one which is the big one. Okay, if the number of the coils are the same, eh? okay, then uh, the ones with a smaller radius, radius is the distance from the center to the side. Okay, so this is a radius. Eh? Okay, so. So the one with a smaller radius, uh, we have a stronger feel. Okay, so the feel of this one will be stronger than the feel of this one. So these are the three factors that affect the strength.